Um, I wanted to know from both of you, um, I really found the dynamic between Liz and Richard uh, very interesting. So I wanted to know your perspectives on it from being both uh, inside and outside of that dynamic. Um, you know, when I first found out that they were going, when Audra first found out that they were bringing in a male, a male character, um, this is before they told us who was playing the character. They hadn't cast Andre yet. They just said to us, we're bringing in this male character. I have to admit there was a part of my psyche that wilted a little bit. And I was like, wow, Diane and Liz have finally gotten to this place where they are these mm. two strong female women leading in their own way. Now this, this firm, you know, Diane understanding that she cannot lead a black firm, that Liz has to be the one to lead it, but she is going to be a part of it. And I was very excited about not sort of necessarily standing in the male gaze for the show, for the season. So I was a little disappointed. I'm, I'm very honest about that when I first read that, oh, they're bringing in, you know, some 800 pound, you know, gorilla and I, I just to, to shake things up male that male energy to shake things up and I that that was upsetting to me for a minute then it was Andre Brower that they cast and all of that changed for me because um I just adore him and and we all you know Michael we all just adored him and adored what he brought the, the presence he brought to the show and the challenge and the obstacle that he brought in for them um I and I I absolutely adored the ways that, you know, Liz and Richard, you know, learn about each other. And a lot of it's combative. And then at sometimes it takes very surprising terms where we find each other, uh, that we need each other in a way that we didn't think or didn't want to admit that we need each other. And I think all of that is, um, has been, has led to some really rich material this season. So I'm glad he, now in hindsight, I'm very glad that he was brought on. But in the way, like, like Michael said, you know, with certain scenes where there is no white gaze <laughs> in certain scenes that we do, uh, you know, in this, in this television show where it's just, you know, all black people and they're talking about, you know, whatever. Um, um, I was kind of hoping for that for Liz and Diane from, um, the male gaze and and while I didn't get that, I got something else that I'm I'm very happy for the way that it worked out. Michael. Um very interesting, Audra, and I will I will cop to this. My version of what you experienced was hey, I'm the I'm the black man on the show. Now after Delroy, after Delroy left, you know, I was like, hey, yeah, I'm gonna, you know, be able to spread my wings around here. And then I hear it's Andre Brower. Now, Andre and I had worked together many years ago in a play reading. So we knew each other a little. And of course, being, you know, men of a certain age, of a certain ethnicity, we, we share, we know lots of people in common. But we hadn't really worked intensely together. So the first scene where he appears, and of course, when I think of, you know, as with uh, last season's sort of male energy in Mandy Patinkin or the season before that in, in Michael Sheen, you sort of, I always find my, for me, the question is, okay, how do I interact with this person? What's my sort of, you know, um, philosophy for Julius in dealing with whichever, you know, obstacle character I come across. Suddenly with Andre, it got a little complicated because I knew him a little. I of course knew his work, but then it occurred to me, hmm, wait a minute, two uh, A-type, uh, impeccably dressed, bald black men uh, uh, if sort of facing off. Because in, in, in his first appearance, he meets Julius, he meets, Mike, he meets me first. And I just in, in, in immediately had this um, hilarious image in my mind of two <laughs> enormous roosters, kind of like, you know, circling around each other like and and it kind of actually plays out in the scene a little bit there's this sort of energy of hey you know what are you doing here and and i and i suspect um richard's character as, as played by andre obviously was giving me sort of a who are you to ask kind of thing and that just sort of kicked us off particularly in that episode i, th I think there's a lot of um fun where in, in our interaction, particularly as he sort of is trying to get to know who's in the firm. And I'm like, why are you asking? And, and so there's a fun, wonderful little, little sort of 
a testosterone exchange um, in, in that instance. And then over the course of the series, you know, our relationship shifts a little bit. As I become more useful to him, he becomes more useful to us. So it's, it's nothing but fun. Nice, nice. Thank you so much. And um, I also have to say that I, I think the Kings have a great visual style that you all work really well in. Um, I also watch the show Evil, and oh. um, I can see a, like a lot of similarities between the two. So, yeah. 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 Two great shows. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. Thank you.